I have some ice and I have some water. Both of these are colder than the surrounding air, so the ice will melt and the water will evaporate, since heat flows from the hotter body to the colder body. But why doesn't this happen in reverse? Most things in the universe can go in two ways, like me. I can go from here to here, and I can go back. So in this system, if ice melts, why can't it refreeze? To understand this, we need to understand some terms. Macrostates, microstates, and entropy. I'm going to get a little help from my friends. Eight of my friends are in a room. Four of them happen to be hot, and four of them happen to be cool. I didn't choose which ones. High school did. But they can all stand in the room in different ways. All of them together on the left, all hot ones on the left, and all cool ones on the right. Or a mix of hot and cool on both sides. These distributions are called macrostates. Now let's look at these macrostates more closely. Take an example. All of my friends don't know each other yet. So all the hot ones stand on the left, and all the cool ones stand on the right. There's only one way for them to achieve this macrostate. Because if any of them switch their places, it won't be all hot on one side and all cold on the other. But say they decide to be social. If the macrostate changes to three hot friends and one cool friend on the left, and three cool friends and one on hot friend on the right. Hot friend 3 can switch with hot friend 4 without changing the big picture, that is, the macro state. The same can be said if cool friend 1 switches with cool friend 2. There are still 3 hot friends and 1 cool friend on the left, and 3 cool friends and 1 hot friend on the right. These ways of arranging my friends are called micro states. In this case, the macro state can be represented by a larger number of micro states than the first case we looked at. The number of possible micro states increases and becomes maximum for equilibrium, which is when there are two hot friends and two cool friends on each side, or my friends aren't being groupy anymore and have decided to mingle evenly. This number of micro states, which can be interchanged without affecting the macro state, is called entropy. Obviously, equilibrium has the highest entropy. Since my friends don't play favorites anymore, all micro states are equally probable. That means that the most probable macro state is the one with the most micro states or the highest entropy. And that means that the most probable state is equilibrium. This is with only eight friends. So the probability of equilibrium is just a little bit greater than the probability of other macro states. But with gazillions of molecules, so many micro states are possible that the probability is huge. There's still the tiniest probability that a system will move away from equilibrium. But this is so minuscule that we say that it never happens. In other words, the entropy of a closed system always increases or stays the same. So if heat were to move from a cold body to a hot body, the system would move away from equilibrium, right? Its entropy would decrease. But the probability of this happening is so small that we don't even consider it. On the other hand, if heat flows from a hot body to a cold body, the heat energy evens out and the system approaches equilibrium as its entropy increases. There's a really high chance of this happening, so heat energy always flows from a hot body to a cold body. And that is the second law of thermodynamics.